Hey guys, it's me Busca LPS here and welcome to another video. So I just got back from Japan like literally yesterday. I came home at 4 p.m. and since it's winter, you know, 4 p.m. is pretty much already dark. So, yeah. But anyway, since I was in Japan, I actually got some adorable Japanese things that are very cool indeed and perfect for LPS. So without further ado, let's get started. I feel like every single LPS tuber that's about to show their new things or their new LPS, they always have to say this. I'm not trying to brag or show off in any sort of way. I'm just doing this because I really enjoy watching these types of videos and I'm pretty sure you guys do too. So uh, let's just roll with it. So if you guys didn't know already, I absolutely love Ghibli. Ghibli films are the best films ever. So uh, that's what I got myself. Hey got myself you got it this huge ghibli cat because you know why not but anyways my sister got a to totoro and i wanted to get a no face but they they had no no face so i just got this cat from kiki's delivery service and i just watched that movie movie a week ago so it's pretty cool to say i did enjoy that movie it was great movie great ending love the story so yeah to this fluffy creature this is Gigi, Kiki's cat. We just have this huge black cat, and I love its eyes. They're so adorable. And he's also wearing this maroon colored bow tie, and his whiskers are actually supposed to be short. You see, when I got him, his whiskers weren't this long. They were like half the size of it, but they just suddenly grew out of nowhere. Who knows that even fake cat whiskers can grow? Anyway, so... By the looks of it, I don't know if you guys can tell this or not, but this cat is actually fluffy. So it has fur on it and you can pat it like a real cat. I love it. Moving on, the next thing that I got is this elfin. And yeah, I got this from Japan, not India because I didn't went there. I got it from Japan. I was eating at this Indian restaurant and they somehow just gave me this elephant, so I guess thanks. <laughs> oh my god. I have to admit, this is a fine looking elephant. I mean, look at those blings, man. Look at them. So as you can already see, this elephant is a yellow elephant with some blue eyes. Well, I see as being blue, but my friend said it was purple, and I'm pretty sure it's blue or it's purple, whatever you guys want to go with it. But I see blue, and some might see purple, but who knows. So uh, it has this blue little seating at the top here with bling blings, of course, and the top of the hat. This hat, I don't know what it's called, but I like the look of it. It's really nice. I like the color scheme. This elephant is also wrapped in golden lace all around its body. And it has a maroon tail. And it has this little thing that you can pull it up, so. Fly, my pretty, fly. Pretty sure this is a Christmas ornament, but hey, I don't celebrate Christmas, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna put this on my shelf and make it a souvenir. Alright, so the next few several things are LPS related because they are accessories, as you know, Asian countries, you don't really sell LPS, for example, Korea and Chi Korea and Japan, I don't know about China though, but Korea and Japan, they don't sell LPS, and that's just great. They do sell civilian and families and other small accessories that will fit LPS perfectly, therefore I bought some accessories, so here we go. First up, we've got like this adorable little sushi set that I got. It's so cute. So first, all we've got is this table, and this is also a tape. You can remove this, of course, just by pulling this thing like that. Oh, there. A little bit more. Okay, there we go. So this table is supposed to go like this, inwards, not outwards, inwards. Or if you don't want it to be a boring table, you can always just add a conveyor belt on top of it, like that. So, of course, you know, like those typical Japanese restaurants, those Japanese sushi restaurants, where you put, like, the sushi on top, they'll cook it, and they'll just put it, and you sit, like, at the edge here, and it'll just spin, and you can just take any sushi you want. So, it's pretty much like that. By the way, guys, random thing, I ate sushi, like, at this kind of shop a few days back, and it was so good. I love sushi. So now time for the food. First up, we've got these two cups of Japanese traditional tea. It's green tea. And it is supposed to be placed here. And I just realized something, guys. See this tape over here? It's actually sticky. So 
that means the reason they put it down there so that it won't move but stupid me over here took rip that tape apart and now it's just this simple looking thing all right time for the food so first of all we've got this egg this fish egg sushi and i'm pretty sure everyone knows this type of sushi but I love these type of sushis, they're so good. I just love, this is one of my most favorite type of sushis. And we'll just put it right over there. So the next one we've got is this one. And I have seen these type of sushis, but I don't know what they are because I've never tasted. And believe this, believe me or not, but this kind of looks like chicken nuggets, don't you agree? I mean, look at that, so delicious. Okay, so you can actually take the top off because this is a, a razor, so you can just take take it off. But if it's LPS, so you know, see, it, doesn't it look like a chicken nugget to you? I mean, it totally does to me. Moving on along, we have this sushi, and I also really like this one. It's so good. So they usually is it's usually seaweed wrapped with rice and salmon or tuna inside. I like salmon for salmon. It's more good it's more delicious so. next up one of my most favorite this is my number one favorite type of sushi salmon sushi but which is pretty much rice at the bottom and salmon at the top it's so good i miss sushi i wish i could still eat it again i'm so hungry all this food is making me hungry now i've got the last two which is first of all is this prawn sushi i've never tasted this one but it does looks good so yeah Finally, we've got this one. So it's sushi, and I don't know what is at the top. I've never tried this one either, so I don't know what it is. But hey, it looks good, so yeah. This was this set. Now moving on to the sibling and family set. All right, guys. So we're back now. Time for the sibling and family set. First up, the set that I got was a bed set. So it came with a bed and some other things that involves with the bed. So yeah. First of all, we've got the bed frame itself over here. The gorgeous wooden bed frame. So here it is. Here's a little overview of it. So the back and the other side. And the bottom just has like a bunch of these little square lines, I guess, to support the bed. So yeah. And of course, it can't only just come with the bed frame. It has to come with a mattress and a pillow and a blanket. So here they are. So here is the mattress. It is pretty much made out of sponge, actually. You see there's an opening in here, and you can see it's made out of sponge, so, yeah. And I have to admit, there is some space left in the bed, on the bed. So, it's just a little too tiny, I guess, but it should be fine. Next up we've got is the blanket, and I love the vintage-looking blanket. I mean, Sibling and Family stuff are always so vintage-looking, and I love vintage, so this blanket is actually really cool. It has some flower designs on it and a lace right over here with a little ribbon, and yeah. Finally, we've got the pillow, which is the same design as the blanket, and you can also open inside, and again, it is made out of sponge, so. I can see that Sibling and Family really like sponge instead of fluff things are in here i still haven't opened it up i did open the box but i didn't open this one up so let's open this one up all right this might be a little hard to do with one hand but hey i think we should manage okay so it looks like the tape came off come on right there we go just gonna rip this and out we go okay so where should we start first Right here so first of all we've got is a bedside table and again I just love the vintage look and I also really love how realistic Sylvan family things looks they're just the amount of detail that they put it really is just so amazing I just love it and by the way here's the drawer there's a drawer and you can open it up and put it back in just like that so this is a cool feature Next up we've got is the bedside lamp, again with a vintage look, loving it. And it, you can't really turn it on and turn it off, it's just a normal lamp, you know. Then we've got this jar, I'm not sure what jar this is, but I'm just going to say it's a cookie jar. Cookies. But yeah, 
So I guess it's a cookie jar or some sort of jar, I guess. Then we've got my favorite. I don't know why this is my favorite out of this whole set, but the alarm clock because I've been dying for one. Whenever I make a video or something, usually it involves an alarm clock, like a series, you know, whenever they wake up, like, I always make the sound, and, you know, there was never a real alarm clock, it was just an invisible clock over there, I'm just like, it was just, there was just no alarm clock. Finally, now, I have one. And the final few things are these books. You can't open them or anything, it's just stuck together like that. And this one is a book about camping. If you actually pay a closer look into this book, it even has a tiny writing on the bottom, and it says camping experiment for some reason. I just read it. It actually says camping equipment, so yeah. So camping equipment is this book's name. In the back of it, there's just a bunch of trees, so yeah. We can just put it right inside the little shelving area over here. It just stop falling down. Finally, now we've got this flower paint book. Come on, focus. There we go. At the top here, above the flower paint, it says flower patterns. So, yeah. And this is the back, just a bunch of flowers. Put this one in here as well. But the next set is all in here. It's just a bunch of tiny kitchen sets. So, let's open it up. Oh god, it's so hard trying to open the one thing and the other hand is holding the camera. It's just hard. Okay, there, finally. Uh, first of all, we've got is this cart. And it is so cute. It's just so adorable, guys. I just love this thing so much. This reminds me of like those type of carts where they bring food to you in those expensive hotels having breakfast or something and they just push it to you and you can just take anything you want in the cart yeah it reminds me of that so then it comes with this little cabinet what do you call this cupboard I, i'm just gonna call it a box box i guess this cabinet box thing and it says bread on it and you can actually open this up and there's a shelving area at the top and a storage area inside Next up we've got are these two adorable little gems. Some of detail that I put inside here is just gosh, like look, you can even see a little bubble inside. It's so cool. So this is an I this is a gem. So this one says orange or marmalade. Come on camera, please focus. Come on, focus. Well alright, it doesn't seem like it wants to focus, so Anyway, so the next one, it says strawberry, yeah, strawberry, right over there. So I'm assuming you could put the two gems on top of the shelving area here, just like that. The next one is one of my favorites, it's just so adorable. We've got this toaster over here, and it doesn't like go down or up or anything but there's actually a sponge inside so then you've got two of these breads right here and when you put it in it just kind of goes up like that you can also press it down like that and it will come back up see So it works like a real toaster, and that's simply because there's a sponge inside. I can, I can see. I don't think you guys can see it, but yeah. And you can just store the bread inside. But the next things are these two tablecloths, and so yeah. Next one we've got is this little basket and I guess this is to put bread or anything whatever to put in there so next one we've got is two of these mugs and then two of these plates and two of where is it so I feel like I lost something and I'm still trying to find it so I'm just gonna move on to the next things so first we've got is this termos, and it also has the little top lid, which is this one. You can just put it in like that. It is so cute. Then you've got this coffee maker, so this is one part of it, and then there's this other part where 
you could just see that little thing over there you just snap it in like that we've got a coffee maker and then we also have a blender so this is the bottom part of the blender and this is the top just put a blender like that and this is the cover and just put it on top it's actually one of the glass is stuck in there so yeah on the other glass which is this one the other one is stuck in here stuck in the blender just can see that i'm still trying to figure how to get that one up next parts my favorite parts we've got this pot and the lid is right over here and this other pot or pot or something and this lid i feel like the lid is too tiny for this pot so i'm a bit disappointed in the lid but other than that it's completely fine and again the amount of detail that i put in this is just amazing last and finally not least is we've got this little spatula or whatever you want to call this i mean i'm assuming it's a spatula anyway so yeah then we've got two of these spoons, two forks, and one butter knife. If you guys enjoyed this video, sorry that's too long for my new video. You see, I just got back and there's a lot of things that I need to do, like unpack and stuff. So, yeah, and uh, the amount of editing in this, I didn't edit it. I'm, not, I'm probably not going to edit it because... I'm quite busy today, so yeah, sorry about that guys, but other than that, I still hope you guys enjoyed this video, and as always, give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe if you haven't already, and if you're new to my channel, welcome, please do hit that subscribe button, it'll be the world to me, see you guys in my next video, bye!